So here are solutions to quiz three. I'll answer all of these questions um, by always going back to this relationship, 10 to the log x equals x. So log of 1,000, what would that be? I claim it's 3. Why? Because 10 to the 3 equals 1,000. So the log of 1,000, that's the exponent I'll need to get 1,000 back. OK, let's see. The next question is log 80. What's that between? So I claim that's between 1 and 2. 10 to the 1 is 10. And let's see, 10 to the 2 is 100. So if I want to get 80, I'll need an expert between uh, an exponent between 1 and 2. And I can cheat or confirm 80 log it's 1.9. So it really is between 1 and 2. But again, we don't need um, a calculator to be able to answer that it is between 1 and 2. Let's see. The next question is one that um, should induce a little bit of thought. Log 1. What would that be? Well, that means I'm looking for some number. I'll call it A that gives me 1. So what do I have to raise 10 to in order to get 1? If we think for a second, we'll remember, oh, hey, wait a minute. 10 to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1, in fact. So that means that, um, move it up here, log 1 equals 0. And as usual, why? Because 10 to the 0 equals 1. All right. Moving on, the next question is log of minus 10. What might that equal? Hmm. Well, 10 to the a equals minus 10. So I'm looking for an exponent that gives me a minus 10. And um, if you think about it for a moment, you can convince yourself that there is no such a. So um, a does not exist. So log of minus 10 is undefined. Um, you can define logs for negative numbers if you use complex numbers, imaginary numbers, but we won't be doing that in this course. Not a standard thing to do. So again, um, there is no exponent that gives you a negative answer here. Right? So 10 to the something, that means you're multiplying 10 by itself some amount of times. Um, you're, whatever you do, you're going to end up with a positive number. So there's no way to get a negative out here. So there's no a in this equation. There's no way to make this equation true, to find an a that makes it true. So log of minus 10 is undefined. All right. Last question. It's number five. Let's see. That's log of 0 0.01. What does that equal? Well, let's see. So I'm looking for some exponent that gives me 0 0.01. And it may help if I write 0 0.01. That's 1 over 100, right? And that's what decimals mean. And 1 over 100, that's 1 over 10 squared. And that exponent rule we learned, exponents uh, like 1 over 10 to the 2 is the same thing as 10 to the minus 2. So aha, 10 to the a equals 10 to the minus 2. So it must be that a equals 10 to the minus 2. So we would say, just to write it out, that log 0 0.01 equals minus 2. Why? Because 10 to the minus 2, that's the same as 1 over 10 squared, and that equals 0 0.01.